Hello, Virgo. My name is Renee. This is your message for December 1st through the 15th. And I know I'm running late uploading these and I do apologize. Um, life happens. Let's get some messages for Virgo. When I was meditating on your energy, Virgo, um, I see the Three of Cups. So I feel like you have your support system around you. I feel like you're being supported in something. Maybe you're having a hard time at the moment. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're being supported. You're being protected. Okay. We have a higher view. So the current situation that you're going through, you may want to take a different view of the situation. Maybe step back and try to gain a different perspective. And you have endless possibilities. Okay, Virgo. At the bottom you have uncharted sea. So this may be a situation that you haven't really had to deal with before. Um, but I feel like, I feel like this may be with love. Um, if you're in a relationship, I don't know. I feel like there's been some conflict. There's been some doubt, some unresolved issues. But I, I feel like it's going to work all out in the end. You have endless possibilities here. So I believe that, you know, with communication, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out for the best. What do we have for Moonology? What messages for Virgo for December 1st through the 15th? What messages? The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, so I feel like you're trying to be positive in the situation. And you have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Yeah, so I feel like you're, you're kind of tapping into your spiritual side it could be that you're praying a lot or that you're meditating a lot at this time um and i have be bold and make the first move yeah so take the higher ground um if it's a situation with love you may want to be the first to make that move um be the first to initiate a communication And I feel like communication will be really key for you and this situation, Virgo. Okay, what do we have? What do the angels want to say to Virgo? December 1st through the 15th. Victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. Okay, so you are currently manifesting something, Virgo. What is it that you're manifesting? What's coming into view for you? See, you have Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Yeah, so I feel like whatever you're working on, you're working on not just for you, but I feel like you're working on it for others. Uh, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Yeah, so I feel like once you make the first move, I feel like the other person in the situation will follow your lead. That's how I'm feeling, Virgo. Okay, let's get some tarot to clarify the situation. Let's get a message for Virgo for December 1st through the 15th. Message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo. December 1st through the 15th. That one. 
one. The star. Yeah, so I feel like you have healing. You have healing right now. You're you're currently you may have had a tower moment. There may have been some kind of change that you were going through. Some kind of some kind of, you know, rapture to your situation. But I feel like with your renewed hope. I feel like you're you're coming out of it. You have healing. The nine of wands. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you're not giving up on the situation. Whatever the situation is, if it's in love or whatever, I feel like you're not giving up. You're standing your ground. You're standing your ground, Virgo. And it's and it's a good thing because you have the ace of cups. So, yeah, I definitely feel like it's going to work out for the best with the Ace of Cups. Let's see, you also have the King of Pentacles. So, the person that you're dealing with may be an Earth sign. Oh, oh, that's way too many cards. Okay, but we'll take Temperance because I feel like that's the one that really stood out. Okay. So yeah, I definitely feel like you are... See, you're going from the star to temperance. Let's see where it leads. Because I, I feel like you are... You're finding your balance in this situation, but I feel like it did not come without self-control. I feel like you're controlling your emotions. Okay. Well, too many cards came out, but we're going to take them. The King of Swords. So the person that you're dealing with may be an air sign. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Seven of Wands. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom, you have the Ace of Swords. So, the Ace of Cups, and what you don't notice right now is the Ace of Swords. So, I feel like a new beginning is going to come from this situation. This may be a new beginning in your mental clarity of the situation, your thought processes. That This might be you cutting into the truth of the situation um but i feel like there's a new beginning in love or something that you're very passionate about now see we're we're going from healing to balance to mastering the situation so i feel like you're evolving virgo and if you go this way, we have a new beginning, the Ace of Cups, feeling balance and harmony. To the okay, sorry about that, Virgo. My camera cut off. So, as I was saying, going this way, we're going from a new beginning of love to balance and harmony to the Ten of Cups. So that's total fulfillment, total happiness. And this way, like I said, we're, we have healing, balance, and mastering. So whatever the situation is, you are mastering the situation. You're mastering the situation. So you're taking control. And I feel like you're being bold and making the first move. Whatever the situation is. But for some reason I feel like this is a relationship. This is this is love. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards. Okay, so with this with the star card, we have the three of pentacles. So yeah, 
Um, now, I was actually feeling the four, I mean, the, the three of cups. So I was feeling um, support. And then we get the three of pentacles here. So, yeah, you're definitely have some help here. You're being helped in this situation. You have your team behind you supporting you. And you have the star card again with this nine of wands. So definitely don't give up. Your healing is here. Your star is very profound. So I feel like this is a renewal. This is going to be a new beginning. And you have, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning. Now, this could be a new beginning in love. This could also be a new beginning um, with a job. Or it could be that with this person that you're dealing with, your finances increase. This person adds to your finances who is this king of pentacles what information can we get for this king of pentacles what is this in this reading the ten of pentacles yeah the king of pentacles to the ten of pentacles so this is a what very wealthy person this is someone who brings great abundance great prosperity um This is someone who's very well off. So yeah, it definitely will add to your finances. Now, if you're not with this person now, this is someone who's going to come forward for you. This is someone coming through. What is this temperance card? Tell me more about the temperance. The seven of wands. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like you stood your ground. You stood your ground in order to gain your balance and harmony. You, you're standing on your beliefs. This is something that you've worked very hard for. And I feel like you're not backing down. What's this King of Swords? You have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so with this King of Swords, now this could be a totally different person, but I feel like with this King of Swords, you may receive an offer. I feel like they're coming forward to maybe ask you out or offer you something. They may be, this may be your Prince Charming coming in. And now I do have to tell you, with the King of Swords, be careful for his sharp tongue. Sometimes his, his words are very blunt and very forward. He gets straight to the point. He says what he means, and he means what he says. What is this Ten of Cups? Well, two things wanted to come out. Okay, so definitely a new beginning. We have the, with the Ten of Cups, we have the um, Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So this is definitely love coming through. This is definitely a love reading. Definitely. Definitely a love reading. And I just noticed you have the Seven of Wands next to each other. So I really feel like um, standing your ground, not backing down from a situation, um, not changing your mind is, is very important for you. Give me more clarifying for this seven of wands, please. Clarify this more for me. The ace of cups again. Okay. So definitely... Definitely stand your ground. Mean what you say, Virgo. Because um, you definitely, I mean, th this is, this is the full energy here. You have four aces. 
This is definitely full energy. This is definitely a new beginning. And since you have the Ace of Cups twice, I'm feeling this is a new, new love that's coming through. What is this Eight of Pentacles? The Emperor. At the bottom, you have the King of Pentacles again. So definitely. I feel like this person is going to come in and he's going to. Strategically sweep you off your feet. He's going to say all the right words. All the right things to say. this emperor he's a very bold leader he's very strong and powerful he also doesn't take no for an answer that's what i'm feeling okay virgo now i need a little bit more clarifying the lovers yes definitely definitely love so i feel like this is something that, that you are really going to turn into you are what what I feel like saying, Virgo, is you have no choice but to move in this direction. I feel like this fe these feelings that you're gonna receive with this person, the way they treat you and the way they take care of you. I feel like you're going to fall head over heels over this person. You also have the strength card. So yeah, I definitely feel like I definitely feel like this this person, this love is going to give you pro profound strength. I feel like this is your unconditional love. At the bottom, you have the hermit. So I feel like you may need to take a moment to really feel that this situation is real with this hermit. Um, but I, I feel I feel like you're not going to believe it until you kind of pinch yourself, Virgo. But this is definitely something very strong that's coming through. Very strong and very passionate. Okay, let's get a card, some cards to close up this reading for a Virgo. Okay, let's get a, some cards for the universe to close up this reading. We have. When I accept love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. And we have the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be having a lot of fun in this situation. I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to totally sweep you off your feet. Now, if this reading resonates with you in the comment section type claim it claim this reading for yours and please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more messages virgo they may have more um messages that may resonate for you And have a wonderful December. Many blessings to you. Love and light.